This video is a very short overview and introduction to comping. Um, comping is a term you'll often come across if you are playing pop and jazz piano, and it's simply a sort of slang term, if you like, a kind of a kind of shorthand for accompanying. Okay, it refers to a very specific kind of piano accompaniment, which is um, an accompaniment that is either completely improvised or which has been semi-improvised and has usually been worked up from a chord progression. Okay, so someone who is comping has got the chords of the song and is improvising an accompaniment while they sing or somebody else sings or, or whatever. Um, so if you watch, um, say, a singer-pianist, if you watch Elton John or Nerina Palo or you know whoever like that, Billy Joel, um, while they're singing, what they're doing on the piano is comping, accompanying themselves based on the chord sequence of the particular song. Okay, so... If you are developing your piano skills, if you're learning to be a better jazz or pop pianist or whatever, why is comping useful to you? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. Um, the first one, and probably the one you'll come across most often, is if you are playing from the sheet music of songs that, you, that you've bought. Okay? Um, here is an example of um, some commercial sheet music. It's not real commercial sheet music, it's just something I've written specially. Um, there are one or two interesting things about it. As you can see, there is a piano part, there is a melody with lyrics and the chords over the top. The piano part is very simple. Um, let's just, if you'll excuse me singing for a second, let's just play through these four bars. I'll play the piano part as it's written and I'll sing the um, melody over the top. Why do I hear the click of your feet on the floor? As you can hear, probably, there are a couple of problems there. Um, first of all, it's very, very, very simple. Okay, That's a song with a fair amount of movement in it, and um, the piano arrangement, as it's written, doesn't really communicate a lot of that movement. Um, commercial sheet music for pop songs especially, often has very heavily simplified piano arrangements that are nothing like the actual music played in the sort of um, the official release of the song, if you like. The reason for that is that people, um, you know, the publisher, publishers who publish these things know that they're mainly sending their, their publications to pianists who aren't that good, so they deliberately simplify um, the sheet music, which is no good for you and I if we want to perform it or whatever. Um, Secondly, the publishers also know that most people who buy the sheet music won't sing it, they just want to play the tune on the piano. For that reason, and, and this is the major problem, the melody in the right hand of the piano part is exactly the same as the melody you sing. Okay. Now, I, I don't need to tell you that if you um, listen to a professional pianist comping, they don't play the same melody that they're singing or, or, or you know, the, the singer in their band is singing. So if El Elton John, God forbid, uh, you know, bought this song off me and sat in Wembley Stadium playing it in front of 100,000 people, he wouldn't play that arrangement. He, he would do something far more interesting. Why do I hear the click of your feet on the floor? OK, he, in other words, would uh, produce a comp. So we know what comps are, um, we know why we want them, but how do we go about creating them? Well... The actual nitty-gritty of how to do that for different styles of music I'm going to go into in uh, separate videos. You can find those listed underneath this video if you go to this page, jamcast.co.uk slash book. Um, you might also find them by scouting around on my YouTube channel. Um, very basically, however, the, the, the general principle is that if we have the sheet music for a song, Although the piano arrangement isn't particularly useful to us, what we do have is the chord progression, and we can build something on that. So a comp uh, usually starts off with understanding the chord progression and building it up from there. So for a song like this one, these four bars here, we could just play it with the chords underneath. Why do I hear the click of your feet on the floor? Okay. And then we will build up from there, making it more interesting. 
if you're going to get good at comping, and, and it's worthwhile getting good at comping, not just for being able to do this with sheet music and to improve your sheet music, it, it, it's also a useful skill if you're getting into songwriting, um, because you, you know being able to run up comps from chord sequences very quickly is quite an important songwriting skill for pianists. Um, the absolute number one secret of getting good at it is really knowing your chords well. Okay, so in this little progression, we've only got E, C sharp minor, and B, and it goes on to B minor seven. But you know, using E and C sharp minor, if you're really comfortable with those chords, you can start playing around with them. Okay, but that only happens when they fall really naturally under your hands. So it's worth getting to understand first of all all the different chord shapes and different inversions and really playing around and getting comfortable finding out what they can do and it's also worth understanding a little bit of basic harmony which again you can pick up from my other videos you can also pick it up by reading my book how to really play the piano the stuff your teacher never taught you which you can find out more about at this web address jamcast.co.uk slash play the piano um, the book's useful, uh, or will be useful to you, because obviously it explains all the harmony, but in the back it's also got a lot of chord tables, okay, um, and a full section on comping. So um, the um, score that we've just been looking at you can find on page 84 and 85. But as I said, the um, absolute basic rule of comping is to understand the way chord progressions work, which isn't difficult. But to be really, really familiar with all your chords. Once you know all your chords and you're really comfortable with them, you'll find that comping comes quite easily. Okay. If you have any general questions on comping, by all means post them in the comment thread on this video, either on YouTube or on Jamcast. Here's the address of the Jamcast post in case you're watching it somewhere else. Um, for more specific styles of comping, you might want to look at my other videos, um, which I was talking about a second ago. Again, here is the address for those. Any questions about those, just you know, leave leave them in the comment thread, and I will answer them. Uh, I always love to hear from people, and I'm very willing to help you out if you get stuck with this sort of thing. Um, so just explore, play around, see how you get on, and let me know.